Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again and I've got a few colors I might get another one actually <laughs> I want a bit of yellow ochre just so I can put it in with my white just so I can warm the white up a little bit it's only a little dot of yellow so we've got only a few colors only three colors and white you don't need loads of colours really to do paintings. <laughs> you can actually get away with a very few number of colours. Like a blue, yellow and a red. And you can mix most colours. But anyway, so we've got some black, some blue. These are these paints, these Peebo ones. They're quite good actually. They're, they're quite good paints. You'd be surprised. The covering power is really good on them. They must have quite a lot of pigment in them. And then I've uh, got some of this yellow ochre. <clears throat> and if you know a bit about pigments, you'll know yellow ochre is quite a cheap pigment, so they tend to be uh, quite loaded with pigment. But anyway, just squirt my uh, paints, keep them wet. And it's also, they stay quite wet for a while as well. Quite good paints, really. So, what am I doing? I need to do a mountain. So I might use a little bit of white and blue just to get them started. Not much colour on my brush. I just want to get the shape of it. Oh, I sprayed my uh, page by accident. <coughs> now I've just moved my light a little bit because it was shining a bit on the canvas and it was annoying me a bit. So, this might not be seen that well to start with, but I'm going to lighten it. I just want to use this just to get the shape of the mountain. I'm going to use this blue colour to get the shadow side done nice bit of there shadow I like painting mountains <laughs> I like painting water, I like painting mountains and I like painting portraits even though they're so hard if you've done portraits, if you're still working on them, they're really hard. <laughs> I'll show you one that I've been doing. There's this one. Although the this eye isn't quite right. You can see where this eye's looking. It might be a bit too big this eye. But anyway, it was a sketch. It took me about an hour and uh I'm going to continue doing these. Might film myself doing them as well. I just find uh, for myself portraits, they're so challenging. <laughs> they really are. But anyway, let's carry on with this. They're fun though, and I find when you do a portrait, you go back to painting somewhere else, it seems a lot easier. Because portraits are so challenging that it makes other stuff easy. So it's worth doing. So you can just about see that. I'm going to add some white now. <clears throat> I'll use a different brush. Let's have a bit of drink. Have a bit of, a bit of tea. A cup of tea. The proper English way. <laughs> Cup of tea. So I'm going to get some white and some yellow. White and yellow, just to make my highlight. I'm going to leave the sky black, by the way. I might put some stars in, or the moon, or maybe clouds. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I just wanted to uh, have the have a nice look. I'm just going to drag this down 
leave some of the dark areas there's an area that sort of goes boom 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 like that down there and around there this sort of goes across there and then goes ooh, 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 ooh. And then we've got a dark bit here. So we can use our other brush. I've got my uh, light and dark brush. And just to, just to, because the camera can see it a bit better, I can use a bit of this. There's a tiny bit of white in it, just so you can see. Some areas that kind of go right down like that. Some I'm going to leave dark and then this light, maybe it's maybe it's hit this bit here. Maybe it's hit that there as well. Maybe it's uh, glanced off a piece that's sort of stuck up here. Something like that. Maybe I want that to go to about there and just sort of stay a little bit darker at the bottom of it and then it gets a, a little bit of light on it and that'll probably look better. I've got a little bit of black as well so I can uh, darken that one side getting a bit bitty that area is now I don't know if I like it to be honest I'll get rid of it yeah it didn't really work so I'm looking at other areas where there might be a bit of light we could uh, I could do a bit of a better one. Maybe there's a bit of light there. Maybe there's a piece that comes up there. That could work a bit better. Maybe that sort of comes down like that sort of comes together there what could happen and then what I can do is get some little dark colour in have a dark bit there and then I can bring some blue into it as well And I've got under light bit sort of going up here. It sort of goes off like that. And then the blue. Mm. 
like that. It's got a piece that goes sort of there as well. Just let that flow along there. We don't want that flowing down there. Do it from like that, and then uh, get some of this blue. So I'll bring that together a little bit. more light on it. Yeah, that's better. And I want a bit more on here as well. I find that a little bit like it needs a bit more a bit more white sort of breaking up there. Okay, well, I like that. I'm going to go a little bit lighter than my blue um, here just so I can create a little bit more shape. Bit behind that one as well. There. And this bit, this bit can go like that. And uh, I'm just making this mountain up, really. <laughs> you can do that. You can make your own mountains. It's fun. It's fun doing that. And create your shapes. Maybe there's a little bit of a dark bit there. Sort of a ridge bit goes all the way up there. You can sort of invent bits, can't you? You can sort of see them though, and and then exaggerate them a bit as you as you're painting. And you can clean them up a little bit. Like that, <clears throat> and then I can put a load of trees in front. What I might do a little bit of white and blue and some water, and then I can use that to kind of mist, use a create a mist here.
can even take that up a little bit up the side of the mountain a bit soften areas just to give it a little bit of softness down there now I'm gonna uh, put in some trees in front so I might use like a dark maybe a bluey bluey black make sort of a grey grey to the blue side and put a load of trees in have the trees sort of going backwards I'm just hold my brush to the end so you can see what I'm doing I'm just gonna sort of tap in a few I think they're probably a little bit light um, let's try a bit darker yeah they're better bigger trees over this side try and hold my brush at the end so you can see just sort of as I tap my brush it does create a few shapes and like I'll try and do another one I'll do one here if you tap it to the side you kind of get a little bit of a shape going Put them in all the way along but I don't really need to because I'm going to put some bigger trees in that's quite good so I'll, I'll leave that to dry a little bit and I'll uh, put a bit of snow in now just wash my brush wash the grey out of my brush don't want the snow to be grey <laughs> myself a light blue and imagine the snow I'm gonna create a bit of an angle imagine it's sort of flowing down like that Flowing nicely. Just soften that edge, and then I can uh, yeah, that looks quite good. And then I can put a tree. I feel like some bigger trees there. I'm just going to use a black, I think. Put these trees in. Something like that. Another one there. Another one there. Another one there. Quite a few. And I'm just going to use the corner of my brush just to give me a bit of shape. Okay, there's a group of trees there. I don't know if you can 
can see like that. <clears throat> and then uh, I might get some snow going. I'll use my other brush so I can keep this one as the dark brush. It does shine back a little bit, but not too bad. Yeah, I'm going to get some snow. Nice snowy colour, nice white. Maybe I can. Uh, Maybe there's a mountain over here and it's casting a little bit of blue across this snow so maybe not all of it's going to be shining out light I don't know, does that make things too complicated? Maybe it does, let's have some nice snow snow coming down there this side. So I'm going to have some trees down this side as well. That looks quite nice and cold. I might put a little bit of uh, a highlight on these trees. Just thinking on this one side they'd probably get a little bit of light. So I'm just going to uh, In a few little uh, indications and something on them. really small so it might look a little bit too uh, BT though same thing we'll have a look afterwards yeah it does a bit I'll use a bit of my black to get rid of some of them doesn't work. No, it's got a little bit of light on them. I might instead create a uh, sort of an outline in a Few of them. It might show something up. It shows a little bit of light on it. It's a little bit of snow. I can't really think of a way of doing it a bit better yet. <laughs> it's because it's so small.
could use the corner of the brush maybe just do it like that Something like that, it's very distant anyway. Let's not worry about that too much. Let's do another tree that's closer. There's one that's sort of there. Little sort of lines. We get in the shape of a tree there. It's quite good actually. And then I can get a little bit of the white and blue I can throw in. snow don't need it to be too have a little bit of a uh, area for the tree trunk so imagine the lights hitting that one side of that tree as well bit more on this one side lots of snow and then it can go into more of a blue on this side like that <laughs> and then I'll create some dark areas doing all this bit uh, wet and wet just building the tree up a little bit Yeah, something like that. And then I can uh, just wash these brushes, and I can uh, do another light area. Sort of in front of this tree. Do another layer here, snow. I mean, I could make a decision on. Uh... Oh, yeah, I want to do a little bit of a shadow for this tree as well. It's more like that. And then what I could do is I could create a bit of a. This is what I was thinking, maybe. I could have like some stars, something in the sky, maybe some stars. I 
Whoops. That one's a bit bright. <laughs> Looks like a shooting star now. <laughs> I'll put a little light on the end so it is. There we go, shooting star. Few little stars. Yeah, something like that. Could add the moon if you wanted to or something else. I think I'm about there. Really. Can't see anything that I want to add. Could go into more detail on here if you wanted to. Could really get this the shape spot on. Could do that with all of it. Go into real detail. We can get some of the dark and build up some of this where the light is not making it at all. I do that with that bit there. Maybe this bit can come down there. But yeah, you can create all kinds of things, deepen up some of the crevices. Make some of it a bit more obvious. Yeah, we can clean up areas. Like I don't really like that bit there. Maybe cleaned up and make that more. I don't like that either. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm about done. I think that'll do me. I've enjoyed painting this actually. It's good fun. I like painting mountains, I like designing them and working them out. A little bit more blue on this side as well, I think. Come on, blue there. that out of there. Yeah, I think that'll do. <laughs> I could keep going and going and going. That's the only thing with these. You start doing a bit more detail. I could do a bit more and a bit more and a bit more. But I think I'll call that one finished. So thanks very much for watching this one. And I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.